Now, the last guys I want to talk about are paleontologists. Um, and these are important because this is what I do, um, but they're also quite comical. So we have two paleontologists that were very influential at the very beginning, and that is Othniel Marsh and Edwin Cope. Now, Marsh um, was a very uh, astute paleontologist. He trained in Europe. He was the first professor of paleontology at Yale. He founded the Peabody Museum. So he was a very notable gentleman, right? Got a very excellent education and did very well for himself. Edwin Cope, on the other hand, down here at the bottom, had rich parents. And he was a kid that liked dinosaurs. So his parents actually sent him to study with Marsh. So Cope was actually Marsh's student. As you can already guess, these two did not get along at all. They were in constant competition with each other. Now, the competition is the part that's amusing. So we're going back here in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Um, so there are many stories of Marsh being out uh, in the field digging up dinosaurs, and Cope would come by and in the nighttime blow up his field site with dynamite. There's also stories of Cope having his dinosaurs sent back to New York by train and Marsh um, causing the train to derail and fall over and, and ruin all of the dinosaurs. So these two literally had kind of a Tom and Jerry relationship right, with each other. They were constantly trying to sabotage each other in very, very amusing ways. Now what makes that important is this is actually what caused people to start to pay attention to paleontology. So dinosaurs didn't really get famous until these two came along because they were constantly in the newspaper because of their different shenanigans. So this actually led to a time period called the Great Dinosaur Rush, which is something we're going to talk about when we get to the Mesozoic.